In this example, you're to solve for x, negative 8x plus 7 equals negative 17. And I'm going to demonstrate two different ways to do this. One is the ver horizontal way, and the other is the vertical way. So first, horizontally. And you'll remember, because we've got two different operations here, we've got multiplication, we've got addition. We're going to first deal with the integers here. Because addition when it comes before multiplication when we're solving equations only, not when we're dealing with order of operations. So in order to eliminate this, these integers on this side and put them all on the other side, we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. So we will only have integers on the one side. So here, because this is equal to 0, I can just get rid of that negative 8x plus 0 is the same as negative 8x and then I've got is equal to negative 17 minus 7 so that's going to be negative 24. Now I have multiplication and so in order to eliminate the 8, negative 8 times x I'm going to divide by negative 8. So negative 8x divided by negative 8 and I'm going to divide the other side by 8 as well, negative 8. So these are going to cancel each other out and I'm left just with x which is exactly what I want to be, where I want to be. Negative 24 divided by negative 8, negative di divided by a negative is a positive, 24 divided by 8 is 3. So x has a value of 3. Let's take that and substitute it back in the original equation. negative 24 plus 7 equals negative 17 and negative 24 plus 7 is negative 17 equals negative 17 so that is correct and I'm just going to show you how some people like to do this which I sometimes call the vertical method and some people like to do it because you're not writing out each step again like here I'm writing out each step the equation in each step. So with the vertical method I can just treat them like um, math questions. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides like this. Okay and now I've got 8x and I've got negative 24. So negative 17 minus 7 is negative 24 and positive 7 minus 7 is just 0. And now I can divide them by negative 8 And now I've got x is equal to positive 3. Uh, the one reason I would advise against using this, although some people really like to do it and it works well for them, is it sometimes is easy to get, it is easier to get confused and lose your place than when you're doing it one step at a time. But you can see that I'm just subtracting 7 from each side of the equation and then dividing each side of the equation by negative 8.